Happy Sabbath. Today is the 27th of August, 2016. Uh, it is a continuation from uh, where we left off. Um, Bible fact number three, Adam and Eve glorious body at creation before the fall of their sin. Part C. Now, let me go to the, to the vital question. What was the body type of Adam and Eve at creation before the fall? That is a Bible fact number three before sin so we're talking about time in eternity or time in eternal life what would be the body type and it was shown to us and it is there evident in genesis chapter one and two one holy angelic immortal body type versus human mortal body type the following points is my analysis of being a priest for the Nariya or the Nairi and Tuka tribes of Mesopotamia or and Antolia or Turkey today. So the tribe of Tuka was from Mesopotamia and Nairi tribe is from Antolia according to our oral traditions. And in my book that I'll be writing and publishing next year, uh, I'll be giving um, archaeological finds and evidences to this tribe and the words that are used there are still used in the Fijian language today. So let, let me go back to that angelic body type. Number one, holy angelic immortal body type versus human mortal body type. As I already said, this is my analysis after being a priest from the Nairi bracket bully tribe from uh, Antolia or Turkey today and the Tuka tribes of Antolia or Turkey or in Mesopotamia where they migrated eventually we're talking about in the in the 4000 to 3000 BC and from our creation according to the Ramatau tribe oral tradition that is from 500 BCE to 500 AD before it's disband into secrecy and we came to Fiji in 1800. These are the results of investigation when I started attending church in January 1991 to December 31st 1992 where I analyzed the facts and the truths of the esoteric studies with its offerings and beliefs of its white and black magic on cosmic and mystical powers. Then my comparative analysis against the data provided in the Holy Scriptures as I did for the advanced studies at seminary in Papua New Guinea, for I had the luxury to study under Dr. Ross Cole, who was the Ducks at Andrews University in the USA, and Dr. David Thiel in Greek advanced studies in Greek 1 to 4, advanced studies and Hebrew 1 to 2 with Dr. Cole. Now, on body senses, let us talk about now the body senses. Angelic, holy angels, versus human body. Number one, holy angels have a different body type senses, but they can read and feel our human five senses. They have more, they have more senses than humans, but they can read ours, ours, whereas we cannot detect or even see them or even sense them. They can detect our sense of sight in the angelic model body type as Adam and Eve, they, as they were tested, if they had passed, they would have been given immortal, angelic immortal body type, but they were given temporary. If they fail, then immortality was not with them. There's a chance for redemption and for salvation. If they had immortal body, then there would be no chance for redemption. They had a sense of smell in their angelic body type, so they had this extra body, uh, extra senses, human senses. So humans have five senses, some say six, and angels have ten. So in their temporary immortal, ange uh, mortal angelic body form, they had these senses, just like the evil angels have. They had the sense of touch as the angelic mortal body type. They had the sense of hearing and the sense of taste. Uh, we must bear in mind that angels do it. 
as Jesus said, that and Paul, that when the Israelites ate manna during the 40 years journey from Egypt to from Egypt to Israel to Canaan, they were eating angels food. Proof of the above, Bible. A. Angel eat, angels do eat and drink and relate with humans as well. Psalm 78, 25. Men did eat bra bread of angels. He sent them food in abundance. So we see here the evidence of holy angels do need to eat, though they have immortal body type. Not in order to have immortal body, type, body, but even the immortal body has to be fed and nourished as the law of nature. Everything has to eat and to survive. Body type, God's body type of immortality does not need to eat. Does not need air, sun to survive, exist. Genesis 18 verse 8, he took cards and milk and the calf, this is Abraham, which he had prepared, and placed it before them, and he was standing by them under the tree as they ate. These are the same three angels that had lunch together with Abraham before going over to Lot in Zodom and Gomorrah. Genesis 19.3, Yet he urged them strongly, so they turned aside to him and entered his house, and he prepared a feast for them, and baked unleavened bread, and they ate. Now these three angels dined with Lot that evening. According to esoteric and Egyptian mystical, cosmic and mystical powers of white and black magic beliefs, holy angels eat and drink as evil angels. That is the reason why in most enemy societies and most white magic societies or black and black magic societies, they put food on the cemetery. Because angels or evil angels do need food as well, but not our food their own food secondly they all have also additional five senses of the angelic moral body type we're talking about uh, Adam before sin they were given temporary mortal body angelic body type not immortal angelic body type they had additional five senses of angelic mortal, mortal body type they had additional five senses in their upgraded immortal angelic body type if they were not to sin. So humans have five senses. Mortal angels, that was evil angels, have another extra five senses. The mortal angelic body type has another five senses. So evil angels are more superior in senses to human beings, but Holy angel angels have five more senses than the evil angels. Human mortal body type, dimensional views. We're talking about now dimensional views. We live in a three-dimensional world. The first dimension is solid or matter, and that is the world. The second dimension is the object or solid or matter as well in the world and planet Earth. Then we have the movement of object, which is the energy in a given time, which is both liquid and thus third-dimensional solids just like when we watch cartoon movies. The movie makers are in the fourth dimensional solid or space or world to manipulate their movement. But if they were to view the reality of it being live, then they need to be in a fifth dimensional world or dimensions to manipulate our movement and not the cartoons in a movie. In order to create a three dimensional reality view, our current two dimensional solids, that is the space and world we are in, and in any space with time, which is the third dimension, deprives us of this privilege. So the object's movement in any space is seen as the third dimension. We cannot create a third three dimensional reality or view, for we live in it. That is the world we live in. So to create it, we need to have the fourth dimensional view of time. And then the fifth dimension to manipulate the existence of it. Let me simplify it. One, a cartoon in a drawing or a picture of a real person is in two-dimensional world. And thus the cartoon or person will only in the two-dimensional picture can move around and this viewpoint follows. This viewpoint is the second dimension and the things viewed are one dimension. Thus the cartoon ex exists in our minds. That is, the animations occurs in three dimensions and we conceive of the little man running from a minimum of three dimensions 
home. We can look at the movie of the little man and we can see an individual running. We can do this because we can see the succession of images. Secondly, in our real world, we live and can perceive things in two dimensions as we move around in a three-dimensional space. However, to view our movement as in movies and computer programs, it is different viewpoint from that which moves through the fourth dimensions and gives us the impression of a three-dimensional world moving through time. Our body and brain operates within a three dimensions and gives us a personal viewpoint. The viewpoint that gives us the impression of time exists in the fourth dimensions. Similarly, our concept of ourselves as a single being moving through the time is a fourth dimensional concept. Beings do not exist in three dimensions, but only in four dimensions. The above statement applies to our world and not to other worlds. In our world, we cannot see the succession of three-dimensional worlds through which we pass. We can only experience it. For a fifth-dimensional viewpoint, we could see identity. In our world, we notice that things appear to change with time. We stand on the side of the road and watch a car approach and pass. So, as in the case of a movie of a real person, people like us, as opposed to the cartoon film I had alluded to in the first dimension of cartoon moving around in two-dimensional space, so are we in a two-dimension moving around in a three-dimensional space? It's as simple as that. Let me get on to the second point. With our three-dimensional viewpoint, we can compare the film with reality and discover that the actors are not the same throughout the film and that there isn't really any identity. In our real world, we have no such ability to check. We would not know if items were substituted in our world. To be able to check on this, we would need to be able to operate in a fifth dimensional world. So in our world or dimensions, abstract ideas are fourth dimension concepts. An abstraction cannot be perceived in our world. We are aware of abstraction, but we cannot perceive them. We use symbols to represent abstract ideas, fourth dimensional concepts. Symbols are any are ways we can use to handle fourth dimensional concepts and abstractions. These are not fourth dimensional, but represent or remind us of fourth dimensional ideas. Another point that we need to consider, however, Satan is in evil angels or devils have been new have been used to represent abstract ideas for they live in the six in a in a four or fifth dimensional world and I cannot and can know if items in our world and not in heaven for they were banished from it. The information I am now going to give from here in detail where the Holy Bible is silent or gray or remains mystery is from my esoteric beliefs. And rituals. So, the mortal angels, before their banishment from heaven, millions and millions of years ago, were in a six-dimensional world. But they were banished after they sinned, followed Satan, and one third of the angels came, as in Revelation 12. When they came into this world, they had with them the fifth-dimensional views and concepts let me stress them so what i'm going to talk about now as we go into job for the bible is not clear i'll be talking about my experiences from esoteric beliefs and rituals how we view things and maybe we can get an insight into how this body operate now satan and evil angels cannot effect change here on our world but observe because they live in the fifth dimensional world to need to actuate, to change it, they need to live in a six-dimensional world. But they are not. Only they live in a fifth-dimensional concept. They have that concept, but cannot, but they are not living in the fifth-dimensional world. For our world is it, it has only fourth dimensions. We humans live in the third, the, the third three-dimensional worlds. Whereas the angels are access to fourth dimensional because they live in a fifth dimensional concept. 
Satan at all cannot inflict pain nor cause death, but are allowed by the Holy God as he gave him permission, as we find in the story of Job chapters 1, 6, verses 6 to 10, and Job, Job chapter 2, verses 1 to 6, to actuate, to manipulate phenomenon that affect human existence and living. Thirdly, the four guardian angels of the planet Earth, as you can see it in, in Revelation chapter 7, will step aside to allow the devil and his evil angels to do their biddings of tempting, tempting humans, in this case, Job, and only affecting nature. In their, in their six domains and existence in their heaven, now they are living in a fifth dimensional concept. They cannot create a thing, but manipulate God's creations and creatures. They do not have sexual organs in, their, in this six dimensional world just like the angels and their body makeup or type is spirit that is invisible thus cannot affect humans and but can affect nature if permitted by the holy god so they cannot have children nor have sex with humans to have children with humans as most esoteric beliefs satan at all in their sixth dimension existence before they came down now they're living in a fifth dimensional concept cannot create, read the minds of humans, but can only observe their actions and detect any malice or double standard characters. So they can tempt, but cannot affect or force humans' willpower and choice. So most of the time, our lust for sin, since we are born of sin, tempts us first, not Satan at all. Though Satan at all would then use his opening to fully control and destroy this person with evil intent and character until the person cannot do any good nor change from bad to good and God's grace is withdrawn, the door of poison closes on that person and the person becomes the devil's advocate, an agent to tempt and lead other good people to follow and become an advocate and agent of the devil. Another point is that with above points, in G and points 4 to 6, you'll see in your notes that I'll supply at the bottom of YouTube, Satan and his evil angels have limited powers to affect change in our world and have no access to the universe of the angels when Jesus died in Calvary. Prior to his death in Calvary, Satan used to go with the sons of God as we see in Job chapter 1 and chapter 2. When Jesus died in Calvary, he brought back that status as the prince of this world, as the king of this world. He was the second Adam. He reclaimed and took that away from Satan. Now Satan and his evil angels are restricted here and they have no access in heaven. In my stint with an animal, as an animist priest, experience with as an animist priest from the age of 11 to 16 i cannot enter homes of those who keep the commandments of god for two cherubs would be stationed at their house gate and their irradiance repels us and if you attempt to force our way my evil angel or the goddess of love or isis will faint from the radiance of its presence so in my early life i had already knew that as the homes I cannot enter, but the rest they were too easy to penetrate into their homes. For there were no cherubs to guard their houses, for they do not honor the commandments of God or his Sabbath. And from then on I knew if I were to join the church and escape the wrath of the devil, wrath of the devil, I must become a Sabbath and commandment keep keeping. Though I didn't like as the I decided in my mind I'll just keep the Sabbath and keep the commandment because I don't like as the in my secret society days, or stint, as its high priest in Fiji, we cannot enter the realm of the universe of angels, for the guardian holy angel of Orion galaxy would not allow us even, get, even to get closer to it, for its, his radiance would suffer burn to the evil angel's body type. Orion was and is the gateway from the angelic universe to our earth, and our guardian angel traveled from earth to the angelic universe, which the Holy Bible term as the kingdom of God through the Orion galaxy. I will expound on this issue of Orion as the gateway of teleportation from heaven to earth and earth to heaven by alluding to the book of Job and Amos. 
on the mention of few constellations and galaxies such as Orion and Play Pleiades. Now, let me continue on to the sixth dimensional world of angels, which the whole evil angels were banished from. In the sixth dimensional world of angelic model body type, they cannot create anything but can create illusions once they hypnotize us. So when I was a high priest of Ramatel tribe and cult, which was a branch of Egyptian and Mesopotamia, esoteric beliefs on our cosmic and mystical powers, I would act as both a priest to predict a future event and can astral travel as a fortune teller or soothsayer or what we call in Fiji Daurai at the age of 11 years old to 16 years old. When I was initiated into, into a high level in the higher secret society of Lucifer, or Egyptian cosmic and mystical powers as a high priest in Fiji, I could levitate, teleport to any place I wished to, and mental telepathy with my associates in any part of the world. They were vulnerable to the radiance of the holy angels and would disintegrate should the holy God wish to destroy them with his brightness. But he has set that for another day. And it's in Malachi chapter 4. We will burn to stubble. So, humans are mortal. An evil angels are mortal. When the holy angels pass the test not to be uh, duped, by Lucifer's um, deception in heaven, they were given permanent immortal body type. So, let me re 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 digress again. Humans have five senses. Evil angels with mortal body have extra five senses, ten altogether. Immortal angel and angels with mortal body type have 15 senses. Humans have three dimensionals, them, uh, have three dimensional views. Angels have six dimensional views, living in a five dimensional uh, concept world. Abstraction, everything. They don't live in a fifth dimensional world. Only angels do that so they, they can actuate change in this physical world. So, immortal angels have an uh, extra three dimensional views but they live in a seventh dimensional world and can actuate changes in a fourth dimensional and fifth dimensional world the holy angels of the holy god live in a seventh dimensional world have been used to represent abstract ideas and can know if items are substituted in the universe of the angels or in the abodes of Satan and can effect change as well in theirs and in our universe. They have a different body type, these angels, makeup, for if from evil angels, for they are immortal and can effect change on human affairs and minds. They cannot detect a human or angel with ease that is evil. They could detect human or angels with ease on his mind. But evil angels cannot read our minds. Angels can. They could discern the minds of humans and evil angels. And with the Holy God, they can read human and evil mind. Evil angels' mind. Let me move on to the next topic. They have the ability to control the evil angels and the stars and the suns, for they are nuclear energy. Their nuclear energy is 10 times or 100 times more than the sun and the stars and our nuclear that we have. They are more than the evil angels. And their body type is more powerful by a thousand times than the nuclear fission and fusion, powerful stars and suns in our galaxies. They have the ability to show themselves to us in their spirit form and can go invisible. Their radiance can burn us up, an angel. But now, they are in sleep mode, for they minister to us. But to evil angels, they are consuming fire. That evil angels dare not draw near them when guarding commandment and Sabbath keepers. The angelic world or universe or the kingdom of God dimensional views. Only the angels and the Lord can, can, can not... Okay, let me read it again. Only the angels and the Lord of God can. Not only are aware of the changes in our time of birth and death and history as a whole, but can actually step back 
And notice the succession of worlds apart from our world within our Milky Way galaxy and our whole universe, but not the universe of existence which only the holy god can do so the evil angels can 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 view that can have a fair idea of what's happening but they cannot actuate change that cannot make changes to it they don't have the, the the powers to do that only the holy angels by the command of god therefore the angels live in a seventh dimensional world where they can manipulate our world and not satan and his evil angels for the sole reason they are banished for they were banished from heaven so they cannot manipulate matters over the holy angels so the only avenue to derail, to derail humans is to play with our minds and reasons in order to create illusions that are deceptions of the higher sort in regards to human intellect and reasons they cannot control that they cannot tamper with it only when human succumb to the deception then they can control the mind so they will create with us deception so that they can purport to convince us that they have the powers as only angels but in reality it's just them showing us through hypnotism to manipulate the existence of fifth dimensional worlds showing us abstracts however the lord has unlimited senses and dimensional views for he is the creator the universe as I postulated and proposed at the beginning of this series as more than a thousand dimensional views and thousand senses for we see in the Holy Scriptures God using the multiples of ten hundreds thousands ten thousands one thousands of thousands of thousands of thousands as King David and Saint Paul said we will never exhaust to measure the length breadth width of God's love and grace for his ways are higher to be exhausted into eternity so there are more than thousands of universes and th ten thousands of plus universes thus throughout eternity we'll learn and we'll never exhaust the power and existence of the lord of god the lord god and the trinity holy angels immortal body type now we can see the superiority of holy angels immortal body type to humans mor mortal body type and evil angels mortal body type it gives us peace and calm to learn that even the angels are no match to our guardian angels who guard our houses who keep commandments of god who fear god as it says in psalms 34 6. now let me go on to the last part of this lecture let me reiterate again holy angels immortal body type are superior to evil angels mortal type and satan and superior to human mortal body type. Human mortal body type. Briefly, we now realize that humans do not have any spirit. For Jesus said it, that God is spirit. And to worship God, you have to worship God in spirit and in truth. So we are guided by the Holy Spirit to worship God, to know God. And the truth is in the Word of God. And the Holy Spirit comes not to give us new ideas and new insights, no just to expound on what Jesus had established his Sabbath and the commandments to make us more understand, understand what the commands, commandments are expecting us to do. Now in the body senses, holy angels immortal body type. Holy angels have a different body type senses, but they can read and feel our five senses. Human moral, mortal body type, humans have three dimensional views. The fourth dimensional view is the equipment and gadget that will help him or he to see or hear or commune with other humans, as some propose, but I disagree with that. Body dimensional views. Holy angels, immortal body type. Humans, mortal body type. The Lord God, immortal body type versus human, more immortal body type at resurrection time. Let us see when this mortal body will be changed into mortal body type like angels is it the same as god immortal body type or not now let me go back to the basics that we have done before body senses holy angels immortal body type i'll be talking that as we go along and body dimensional views holy angels mortal body type and human mortal body type this i will review the points the above points in the next lecture let me let me review what we have done so far their body type was holy for he had powers of more than the sun they had a body type similar to the body of the resurrected body type as prophesied by saint paul in first corinthians 15 for this 
perishable must put on imperishable and this mortal must put on immortality secondly with this body type lower than the angels mortal type they were to be upgraded if they were to pass the test by lucifer and Bill. thirdly their their body type was similar to evil angels lucifer body type that is mortal and can be destroyed by fire and brimstone from heaven so evil angels do not have immortal angelic body type but holy angels who did not fall to lucifer's deception and lies were upgraded to immortal body type fourthly humans after the fall were removed from the light of glory that clothed them thus leaving the human body mortal and cannot travel for they are mortal and has no spirit like angels and the trinity god the evil angels do not have this immortal angelic body type thus they can die and be destroyed by the light of heaven since they are mortal but higher in body type as humans they will be destroyed by the fire destruction and not live forever only angels have this glorious angelic body type but immortal the trinity god have immortal divine and godly body type that can be can be cannot be affected by loss that controls the immortal body type of angels so the trinity god body type are different from all the angels body type so evil angels and humans are not immortals so they do not exist when they die for they do not have a spirit thus cannot go to heaven or hell for that was the deception of lucifer the serpent to heave and to heave to adam that if they ate the fruit they will become like god that is in this body type of immortality so they fell to this deception and still lie in and still lie in their grave asleep for there is no spirit in humans for jesus said we cannot see the trinity and the angels for they are spirit I have not discussed here the verbs that made the transfiguration, but we'll do in the next week. The above is how I study the word for the language student and not a theology student. So please bear with me, for I need to share with you how to, in, to do inductive Bible study on the word of God in the original language and hope you don't mind. I will hand here and continue next Sabbath. I have not edited the feed, but we'll do later. Forgive me for this. And may God continue to bless you. Let me go back again. Mortal bodies, human bodies have three senses, a three dimensional views, and live in three dimension. Angels live in six uh, evil angels live in six dimensional world view, being fourth dimensional abstracts. Holy angels live in a sev seven dimensional world, viewing six fifth and fourth and three dimensional worlds and they can actually change god does not have any limitation on dimensional views it is too great and too big and unlimited because if he has limited he has a limit then he ceases to be god and may god bless you and bless me for he are our holy angels to guard us from harm and evil they only come if we obey his commandments and keep his sabbath and may the sabbath and the commandments not as a means to getting heaven to go to heaven to have eternal life but as a show of your love to god and to other humans and that is what the commandment is love god with all your heart and love your neighbors as you love yourself the commandment is good is pure is holy that what paul says in romans chapter 3. it is us who are sinful may god help you and bless you and your family pray to god to help you god jesus said in john chapter 13 and 15 and chapter 14 and 15 if you love me keep my commandment so commandment keeping and sabbath keeping is an outward show of a relationship with god see the israelite were given the sabbath and are given the commandments after they were saved by the blood of the lamb if someone is saved by the blood of the lamb automatically as paul says in hebrews chapter 8 and chapter 10 i will write my commandments in their heart by my holy spirit so allow the holy spirit to come into our life and to write god's commandment in your heart may god bless you and be with you and shine upon you and may his holy angels be ever present as he is always even when you are unfaithful god bless you all